Hey, if you're new here, my name is Abigail and I upload daily videos called Thoughts on Confidence because the more we think about, talk about and take action on our confidence, the more confident we become. And this world needs more women who are stepping up into their most confident selves so that they can have a significant input, in influence and impact on the world. And confidence is the key to making you do that. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and do that and make sure you hit the notifications button as well so that you can get your daily boost in confidence. There was a man behind me doing his exercises, which is a good thing. We should all be doing our daily exercises, but I'm going to put my head there so that you don't get distracted by him. So if you are ready to talk about confidence today, we are talking about doing the thing, even if you don't feel ready, because that is the cornerstone of confidence. So if you are ready, or maybe you're not, either way, let's get started. Today is day number 171, and the thought of the day. Let's take a look at what it is. Confidence is doing the thing even if you don't feel ready. How many times have you looked at a person who appears confident and thought to yourself, gee, like how do they do that? Like how do they put themselves out there like that? How do they just so easily embrace whatever the scary, supposedly scary things are and feel good about it? Well, their big bad secret is that they are still scared. Whatever it is that they're doing, they are not immune to all the anxiety, the fear, the nervousness that we all feel when we are, you know, putting ourselves out there, trying new things, uh, doing things that make us feel vulnerable. Confident people also feel that. This might be groundbreaking news for you, but confident people are not immune to all of those, those negative emotions, those those human emotions that we are all familiar with. The difference is though, that they don't let that stop them. So in spite of all of those usual fears and doubts, they still put themselves out there. They still take action. They still put themselves in those vulnerable positions. And that's kind of the, the key to this whole thing is, is the confident people they don't wait until they've got it all sorted out. They don't wait until they have all the experience. They don't wait until they have all the knowledge, all the expertise. They jump before they're ready because that's how they actually get the, the, the experience. You know, it's the chicken and the egg situation. Do they, how do they get experience if they're not willing to take the chance on something that they don't yet know? Well, that's exactly it. They, they're not ready, but they jump anyway. They give it a go and they embrace the fact that they might fail or that they might look stupid or that they might be judged accordingly. So confident people don't wait to have things all figured out. They don't wait for perfection. They don't wait for all of the information. They don't wait for conditions to be ideal. When they get an idea in their head, they act on that idea. They trust that the fact that they had the idea in the first place means that there's something there that they need to go and explore and they know that they have to be intrepid explorers without all the safety nets, without everything sussed out before they go, but they go anyway because they know that that's how they're going to get all of that information by, by doing the actual thing. But that's not to say that by doing the thing that, that they're not crapping themselves, that they're not absolutely scared of what is going to happen to them, what people are going to think about them, what the outcome might be, that they might fail. Yes, they've got all of those fears, just like you and me but they accept that that is all part of the journey of success, that they, they feel all of those emotions and all of those emotional responses, but they push through. They didn't let that stop their, their action taking or their behavior. So if you find yourself waiting, waiting for the perfect conditions, waiting for everything to be just right, 
you're missing out on the chance to grow. You're missing out on the chance to expand your confidence because the confidence won't come while you're waiting. The confidence will come while you're doing. Confidence is a doing word, not a waiting word. So I want to invite you to check in with yourself. Do a little selfie check in and see what ideas have you had lately? What inspiration have you had lately? But that your default setting was to put it on hold because you don't feel ready. Because when you had that, ex that exciting idea, the excitement was very quickly replaced with anxiety and fear and I'm not ready and who am I and all of that kind of talk. That idea, take it off the shelf, bring it back into your awareness, recognize that you don't feel ready and go out and do it anyway. Do that, do that for you and do it for me and then come and let me know in the comments how it felt to get it done. Because that right there, that is the magic secret to confidence, is doing it all even though you're not ready. So I hope you do take that challenge to heart. I do hope that you get that idea off the shelf and put it into action in spite of the fact that you don't feel ready. Do it anyway. Either way, you will learn something. You will learn what to do, what not to do. And if something here resonated with you, maybe it sparked that anxiety, that's your intuition telling you that you know you've got something that needs doing and you've been using excuses as to why you're not doing it yet. Listen to that. It's telling you that for a reason. If today's thought on confidence did resonate for you, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications button and then go ahead and share this with a friend who also needs to get off her ass and do the thing even if she doesn't feel ready. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, do it confidently, do it consciously, do it even if you don't feel ready and I'll see you again tomorrow.